Hello everybody and welcome to Cable Plays Games. Today we're going to be playing some Slay the Spire. If you guys haven't played Slay the Spire yet, uh, just to give you a little bit of a rundown, it is a rogue light deck building game. Uh, you're going to go ahead and be able to build a deck, uh, run through some floors, and uh, the deck, the cards you have available to you are going to be determined based on the class uh, that you choose right now. Um, we're going to be doing the Ironclad today, but just to show you, uh, there's three of them. There's a the Silent, and there's the Defect. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick the Ironclad today. And let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, this just gives you a little bit of extra bonuses to start out your run with. Uh, we've got a few options here. Remove a card from our deck. That's okay. Enemies in your next three combats have one hit point. Um, also pretty decent. Uh, we can get some gold. Random boss relic. I don't like losing the starting relic, especially on Ironclad, just because it helps uh, get us some more hit points back. Uh, relics are these just sort of passive items that are going to go ahead and and uh, give you some bonuses uh, throughout the run. Uh, right now, oh, we've got our starting relic, which heals us for six, and uh, Niao's Lament, which is gonna make our first three combats relatively trivial. Um, they're all gonna have one hit point. This is the map. Uh, this shows you the layout of the act that you're in and uh, all of the different rooms that you can go into. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of planning. These are your uh, encounter rooms. These are your event rooms. Uh, Going to be a bunch of different things in there. You'll be able to see it here pretty shortly. This is a shop, and these are elites. So on this first floor, I typically like to try and find as many elites as I can. Um, and they just give they give you relics. They give you access to uh, rare cards, and uh, typically pretty good rewards. And the first uh, floor doesn't have too many bad ones. Uh, to go up against. So, taking a look here, it looks like we can get uh, three uh, out of that if we go up this direction. Um, I don't really like going to early shops for the specific reason that we don't have a whole lot of gold to spend at them. Um, but we're, it looks like we're going to be headed that direction uh, if we want to make it all the way up there and catch that elite right there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start out here. And remember, uh, one hit point for each one of them. So just going to take a couple of strikes. Uh, you draw some cards at the beginning of your turn. Um, this is your energy right here. All of your cards have an energy cost uh, to kind of keep this a little bit uh, restricted, make you think about things just a little bit more. It's your health, um, all that good stuff. You can see your health up here as well. This is where you're going to get your potions. We'll see some of those hopefully here in a little bit. Um, you can uh, check your draw pile and check your discard pile over here. There's nothing in there. Um, but if we go right here, we can see which cards we have left in the deck. So next turn, we're going to have a lot of defense, but we're not going to get to next turn because they only have one hit point. Um, this you can also use to see uh, what this enemy is going to be doing this next turn. Um, this one's going to attack. And this one's going to buff itself. But they're not going to be able to do that because we're just going to cut them down. Alright, this is your spoil screen. Uh, let you know what you got out of the encounter. We got some gold. And this is where the deck building comes into play. We're going to be able to choose a card here. Uh, we've got some pretty good options here. Let's go ahead and... Well, card draw is pretty good. Uh, and we're exhausting cards. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah, you know what? We're going to take Burning Pact. Uh, go ahead and get some card draw going. Not really going to help us uh, too much in terms of combat effectiveness, but luckily we don't have to worry about it too much here. And kill that jaw worm really quick. And we've got one more easy fight up ahead of us. Got a potion, like I said. We're going to see some of those. This particular one is going to give us two energy, so we can go above our max energy, which allows us to play more cards in that turn. Uh, Body Slam, very good. We don't have a whole lot of block synergy going on at the moment. Um, shrug it off more card draw and you get block on top of it block helps you uh make sure your are just kind of mitigates some of your damage um that you might be getting um we're gonna go ahead and shoot for this event room see what we can get out of it i like the event rooms uh you can find some pretty good um stuff in here now a lot of times you end up losing hit points but because we have uh you know six hit points healed at the end of every encounter um uh, not really going to be too much of an issue for us to lose a little bit of it and we're going to upgrade two random cards so upgrading just makes them 
makes your cards better. You can upgrade each card once. Um, here we hit two strikes. Not the best upgrade, but you know, it's all right. Uh, you can upgrade each card once. Uh, there are a couple of cards that allow you to upgrade them multiple times, or at least one that I know of. Um, this is the shop. This is the shopkeeper, and he's got everything spread out on his little rug here. Um, you can buy relics uh, in the shops. Membership card. Oh, that's a good one. Um, you can buy cards, or you can uh, remove cards. And this goes up in cost every time you use it. Um, we're not really gonna. Well, you know, we'll remove a card. We'll go ahead and remove one of the basic strikes that we got. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we're gonna pivot up here so we can hit this elite. We're gonna do another combat encounter. I think we're done. No, nope, we still got one more with one hit point. Uh, we're gonna get the little bird cultist out of the way. All right, and we've only got 10 hit points down now. Add another card. Okay, this is one of my favorite cards for Ironclad, uh, specifically because it just it upgrades cards during combat, um, helps save you some time uh, because you're not going to be able to upgrade everything. Now, when you when we do get a chance to upgrade, we're probably going to upgrade that first because then it'll hit every single card in here. This is an elite fight. Um, we've got the sentries here. Uh, this is a pretty nice one because uh, it's very predictable. Um, this one's going to attack, and then these two are going to do something. Um, each turn this one acts by itself and these two on the outside uh, act together so those two are going to do uh, some s debuffs and next turn they'll each attack for nine should be pretty easy to uh, work around so we're going to give ourselves some block here um, really want to try and uh, mitigate as much damage as we can each uh, combat so we can save up as much health <coughs> for the uh, for the boss on the floor all right, so um, it's just debuffs, adding cards into our deck. Uh, we're going to draw them. We can't play them, uh, but luckily the this specific debuff uh, kind of takes care of itself. Yeah, we might get screwed on a single draw, but it's ethereal. That It's got that keyword in there, ethereal, which means at the end of the turn, uh, if it's not played, uh, it's going to exhaust itself, and those also have the keyword unplayable, so they're just going to filter themselves out of our deck eventually. Um, we'll go ahead and play armaments and we want to upgrade our bash there and that's going to apply vulnerable um, we're not going to be able to do that at the moment but um, we are going to be taking eight damage it's better than uh, taking you know 18 so we, we take what we can get not always going to be amazing but it's kind of a balancing act uh, between getting enough block and being able to take things down in an efficient manner. Um, a nine. So this will take one hit point worth of damage. That's not bad. I'm trying to get this guy down uh, as soon as possible. Um, so that way we only have to deal with uh, one attack per turn instead of every other turn having to deal with 18 points of damage. Because that is a lot to handle here. All right, so we're going to be able to take this guy out right here. All right, we'll get that. We won't take any damage this turn, and those will fade away. Really happy we got these for our first uh, first elite. Uh, to me, they're the most manage manageable one on the uh, first floor. Mm, I really like going up against them as opposed to something like Gremlin Knob. Um, like a Vulin, not so bad. Uh, but he can be kind of a pain um, if you don't have enough stuff. So, you guys saw that. Um, Bash usually makes it vulnerable, which will mean that he's going to take more damage from our attacks, but because they have this thing called Artifact, it's going to negate the first debuff of the combat on them. Uh, we'll go ahead and just get some more damage in. We don't have any block. Oh, I could have done some block. Uh, we could have only taken four there. Uh, uh, well, that's fine. We'll leave it. We can take a little bit of damage. And, all right, we're good there. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we'll take that. Okay, we don't really need to get any more block here. We'll just hit that guy a couple of times. Days will go away. But as you can see, like I said, much more manageable when we're only having to deal with one attack every turn. Um, only took one hit damage that time. Uh, we'll be able to kill him right there. Best offense is a good defense, as uh, you may have heard. And we'll go ahead and take care of that. 
With just one more. We'll get our relic here. Lots of days going on. I think we've got what, 12. We've got 17 cards in our deck right now. We've only got 12, so it's five days, six days right there. Uh, we did not draw very well, so this is where we're going to do this. We'll just exhaust that because it's going to exhaust itself anyways, and we draw two days. That's <laughs> that's wonderful. That's always great when that happens. You don't get anything useful out of um, what you're trying to do. Okay. Watch him shoot his little laser beam at us. Take a little bit of it. We're getting close to half health. and uh, no more. There we go. We got some damage in here. Um, useless turn for, for block, but the card draw on Shrug It Off makes up for it. Okay. There's that. And we finally took him down. Okay, we regained some hit points. Uh, we got 29 gold out of that. We did get a relic here, Centennial Puzzle. Um, it's pretty nice. Every time you take damage, you're just going to do, get some card draw. Block potion. Wonderful. All right. Um, you know what? We're going to... We, we've already got one armament, so we don't really need a second one. So we're going to go ahead and pick Offering. It's really it's a pretty good. Um, the, the health loss on it is offset by you know our basic relic. So I'm not super worried about that. Um, okay, I hate these guys a uh, bunch because it kind of requires you to go a little bit of aggressive if you don't want to lose your gold. This guy, every time he hits me, he's going to steal 15 gold, um, and all he does is attack every turn until, uh, I think probably for like three or four turns, and then he's going to um, give himself some block and then the turn after that if you don't kill him he's just gonna disappear and you're gonna lose all the gold that he uh, he took from you so we'll go ahead and do that um, and you know what we're gonna just hit this guy twice because we can take two two hit points worth of damage it's gonna lick us I, I don't know how he licks us you know he's, he's, he's a little slime ball uh, I mean I can see him just kind of like you know splooshing on us or something but I don't see a tongue anywhere. I see a bunch of eyes, but no tongue. Um, this would be a good turn to get some extra because we, we took damage. We have a lot of cards in our hand. Um, give us ourselves some extra energy to play around with. We're going to go ahead and hit him for that, which should give us some um, extra damage. Oh, we'll go ahead and let's shrug it off. And we should be able to kill him next turn. Hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna reshuffle everything. Should be able to get enough. Um, we want to get just a little bit more block going. Don't want to lose too much hit points here. There we go. See, that's more appropriate. Getting slimed by a little slime ball makes just a little bit more sense to me. Um, and yeah, we'll be able to take him down. We'll go ahead and do that. Boom, he's dead. Um, like I said we don't want to take too much damage. We'll go ahead and. Do that because now we're not on a time limit anymore uh, we can take this a little bit slower uh, figure it out but with that thief in there we're on a time limit or we lose all our gold want to make sure it's going to change up our uh, strategy a little bit and take that out shrug it off it will just give us uh, all the block we need plus an extra card kind of cycle through our deck just a little bit faster always good to do um, as I've uh, explained, you've got the uh, the attack icon, which is usually a weapon of some sort, and red in color. Then you've got the uh, green swirlies here. It means that they're going to uh, do some sort of status effect on you. Um, and on occasion, you'll get them both combined, which we just saw there. Um, so be on the lookout for that. It's a lot, lot of information out of there. Um, always make sure that you use all of the information at your disposal. Go ahead and just get rid of that. I mean, it's the same, I guess, as if I would have just played it, but cycle through our deck just a little bit more. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm an expert on this game by any means, so you'll see a little bit of iffy decisions like that um, from time to time. I get a little bit ahead of myself. I'm talking to you guys while I'm doing this. Not used to doing that. It's the first time I've ever uh, made a video like this. So uh, if you guys uh, notice anything that detracts from the video too much or I'm constantly messing up, let me know. I will do my best to fix it um, and we'll, we'll see how this goes from there. Uh, Wild Strike, not bad. Uh, it's, it's a decent amount of damage. 
We're gonna get some flex. I do like flex. Uh, we're gonna go with wild strike and see uh, how that goes. We can get some some extra damage going. I think that would be good. All right. So, Gilagavulin, he's uh, sleeping right now. We're gonna wake him up here in just a moment. We'll do that. Oh, and he's awake. We'll get some vulnerable on him. Do just as much damage as we can. Because this next turn, he is going to be doing a bunch of damage. See, and the the icon changes uh, depending on how much damage you're going to be doing. Um, so it's it's always important to know uh, that if you you know get something that does multiple uh, attacks in a turn and you don't have the time or don't want to do the mental math to figure out how much damage it's going to be, just look at the icon and see. Hey, this is going to be a decent amount of damage. Um, We'll get some block going because of that five damage not so bad uh, we'll go ahead and finish off with that get a wound that's okay um, we'll, we'll just filter it out eventually all right we got one more few more cards because I took some damage okay um, once again balancing act we've got to figure out what a comfortable amount is to take a comfort comfortable amount of damage is to take um, in each of our, you know, combats, um, and especially important on here because he's going to be switching up to a, um, a negative effect. This curse, basically what it does, it's going to take our dexterity and our strength down. So we're going to get less block and less attack from each of our cards. Every time we're trying to play one of those, um, you can draw some cards. That's all right. I'll take some damage here. We're getting dangerously low. Um, but we'll be okay. Uh, we don't really need to do any block this turn. So I'm not super worried about it. Even though... Okay, we'll go ahead and get rid of this wound here. And we should have one more. So we'll do just a little bit more damage there. Uh, thorns. Okay, we're good there. We'll save that for when we need more, more out, of, out of block as far as that goes. Or even just save them for the boss. But we should be able... You know what? We're going to go ahead and pop that one right now. Um, and well, we're only getting one block out of that. Sucks. All right. Do that. He's got vulnerable. Get some more damage out of that. All right. We're, we're within striking distance of his uh, death at the moment. 15 hit points in a turn. Not too hard to do. We're walking out of here with about... Uh, well, it's kind of hard to do if you don't draw any uh, damage. Oh, dang. That sucks. Okay, uh, but you know what we can do here? We'll, we'll do some of that. Could just kill him when he attacks us, but we can save that for when we're going to have a longer fight. Thorns is pretty good. Okay, so we're, we're not walking out of here with 22 hit points. We're walking out of here with 12, which is decidedly worse. Um, hopefully we have a uh, campfire coming up. Or a calcum. That's a pretty good uh, relic there. If we end our turn without block, we're going to just automatically get a little bit of it. So... On those turns when you draw all, all attack cards, um, that'll be helpful. Um, we have a lot of high cost cards, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. Heavy. Oh, and we don't have... This is where trying to go for elites can be a little bit daunting sometimes. If you if you, if you don't do it right, um, you could end up with a, a pretty, pretty short run. Um, we're going to get our blood vial here. It's just giving us more hit points um uh, during combat uh oh and of course it's the uh it's the it's the knob the gremlin knob so this guy's gonna be interesting so he you have to try and burst him down as fast as you can um without uh without taking uh any block or any sort of skills because every time you use a skill um he's just gonna get more strength and, and then he's gonna do more damage and he's already hitting for a decent amount um because he's going to apply vulnerable to us uh, at this point. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves some energy here. Uh, get him vulnerable. Try and do as much damage as we can here. Oh, I see. See what I mean? Getting ahead of myself. Misjudged the amount of energy I had and forgot to use some of it. So it went to waste. We took some damage. We could have, uh, you know, mitigated that a lot. Um, he's doing 21 damage to us this turn, and we don't really have anything to defend it. Oh, no. See, that that was not a good idea, because now we're... Uh, 
We're going to take 19 hit points. We're going to have one hit point left. This could be the end, actually. This probably is the end. And it's all because, you know, I... Uh, well, nine hit points? No, we can do this. Let's see. Come on. Give me a strike. There we go. Strike plus? Perfect. Hey, we pulled it out. I thought we were dead. We are not. All right. Getting some more gold with the mob bank. Pretty good. Um, just can't spend any gold at a shop, which is fine. Probably not going to hit a shop till the second uh, act anyways, if we make it that far. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Sword, boomerang, thunderclap. Thunderclap's all right. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with sword, boomerang. Um, oh, let's get that event. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, do we chance it? I think we do. Oh, oh. No. Uh, I don't... You know what? No, we're just going to leave at this point because we only have 13 hit points left and we're only going to get about 30 back here. This is the rest screen. Um, you can go ahead and... Or campfire, I guess. Uh, you can go ahead and rest. You can go ahead and smith. Um, smith upgrades your... Uh, allows you to upgrade a card permanently. Um, we're going to go ahead and rest and get some health back and go from there. Um, we'll go through these events and we... Looks like, oh, hypnotizing colored mushrooms. All right, so if we anger the mushrooms, we're gonna have to do a fight. If I wanna heal, I can do that. You know, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll take that. That's not a bad, not, not bad. Uh, we are gonna rest again, but maybe this gives us a chance to um, either get something good from, oh, we got a chest, that's always good. Pen nib, pen nib's good. Uh, every tenth attack, and that carries over through each combat, so it's just total attacks done. Um, we we get uh, some double damage here. Um, I'm debating. We want to smith. We want to smith here. Um, we're gonna smith, and we're gonna smith armaments. Um, so that way we this next fight's gonna be a little bit longer. Um, we want to do armaments, so that way we're hitting everything when we're uh, upgrading it with that secondary effect on armaments. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do as much damage as we can right there. Oh, I guess I could have popped my thorns, but he's not attacking yet because he's got a flame on. So when you see the scythe, that's i pretty sure I haven't seen anything above the scythe as far as I know. Um, that's Those are the, the deadly attacks, the, the, the ones that are really going to mess with your day. Um, so because of that, we're going to go ahead and try and get as much block as we can. And we're still going to take a wallop in here. Oh, so much. All right. But we have a bunch of a bunch of cards to play this turn. That's all right. This is great because when I play armaments, we're going to upgrade so many things. Um, and we'll go ahead and do this. I'm willing to, to play around with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead, upgrade everything. 17 damage. That's a lot. That's nice. Uh, we still got four to play around with. Uh, we're good taking one one damage. I'm all right with that. Um, so we're going to do that. 17. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll do some of that too. <clears throat> Sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> um, got a little bit of a, a throat going on here. Mm. A little bit of a throat. Everybody's got a throat. You got a, something stuck in there, though. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Get some vulnerable. Take five damage. We're okay. I think. Almost at the halfway point here. Oh, gain some block. Do some of that. Uh, no, uh, we, you know we're going to just... We're going to play this just to get the wound out of our, our deck. Kind of thin it out a little bit. I think that's a good good choice. All right. So he's adding in more cards, and they're going to do damage at the end of every turn. Um, right now, this means he's going to gain some block next turn, and he's going to uh, buff himself. So he's going to do something here. I'm pretty sure he's going to add some strength to himself, which means he's going to do more damage with his attacks as well as uh, that block. We want to get... Um, it's really the only three cards we can play, but we want to try and get as much, uh, 
Oh, I, I did that backwards. I could have had more damage with the um, pen nib if, had I played strike first. Um, that's okay. Things to look back on. Things to look back on. This is gonna, I think this is gonna be helpful for me too, kind of being able to watch some of these as I'm making these videos and figure out what exactly I'm doing wrong when I uh, lose and what I can do better uh, for future. And that, I mean, that was useless. That's all right. Really allows me to think about a few things here. Uh, let's see, eight. Get that. Oh, yep. Take care of that. And I'm going to take a little bit of damage there. But nothing actually is going to go through. See, we, we, we've been doing pretty good. For the last couple of turns, we've only taken, you know, like six points of damage altogether. Um, this is going to mess us up, though, if we are not careful. So we want to take as much of that. I think that's all of it. It should be good. No, it's not all of it. We'll see. Kind of wish we would have had some potions um, for what's going on here, but boom. No, not all of it. Down 18 now. We've got upgraded burns that do four damage at the end of your turn, and we draw drew at least one, um, but he should hopefully be down and out um, here in the next couple of turns. I want to get the vulnerable on there and one different... Yeah, we can take three damage. That's fine. Um, in boss fights, your health is a little bit more of a resource. Uh, oh, and I didn't do that at all. <laughs> um, there we go. We got we got the Orichalcum going for us. Um, in boss fights, your health is a little bit more of a resource because should you beat the boss, uh, you're going to be, you know, pop back up to full. And just like that, we beat the boss. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at what we're getting here. Uh, Juggernaut. Juggernaut's good. Brutality, pretty good as well. Uh, Emulate. No, I don't think I've chosen this card at all, but we're going to go with Juggernaut. Getting uh, to do damage every time we get blocked. That's wonderful. Something we're going to do anyways. Uh, Lizard Tail, when you die. Because uh, when you die, your, your run's over. Um, we're going to go ahead and take Tiny House here. Oh, and it hit Juggernaut, so we're doing 7 damage every time. That's great. I love it. Um, True Grit. Good card. All right, y'all. Well, we're in Act 2, um, but this is going to be the end of the uh, episode. I hope that you uh, enjoyed all this first episode. Um, I'll have more going up, and we'll continue on this run in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day.